what you are seeking that is bringing you here this evening, you will not find through your rational thought processes. It is only at the point when it begins to dawn on you that maybe all of the methods you had available to you thus far aren't going to be enough. All we can do at this point is to share our journeys with one another. I trained to be a social psychologist in the field of child development and personality theory. I got my PhD from Stanford and I was a professor at Harvard. I taught at Cal and Stanford and Harvard. And I had collected all of the symbols of success in society, or at least a large number. But every now and then, just before I'd be going to sleep, or when I'd be in the bathtub or something, that'd be that moment when there wasn't somebody else's eyes to look into to tell me how wonderful I was. And I knew that it wasn't enough. And I think it is most likely that I would have gone along at that pace, just collecting more and more badges. But one night, a deep calm pervaded my being. I peered into the semi-darkness and recognized none other than myself. Well, I thought, I worked hard to get that status, but I don't really need it. So it's over there and I'm over here, so I'll give it up. I realized that though everything by which I knew myself, even my body, and thus life itself as I knew it, was gone, still I was fully aware. Instantly, with this recognition, I felt a new kind of calmness, one of a profundity never experienced before. I had just found that I, That which was I was beyond life and death. It was wise rather than just knowledgeable. 
It was the voice inside that spoke truth. Now I need only look within to that place where I knew. Fear turned into exaltation. We have to get out of our minds, our thinking minds. I'll tell you how I do it. Using a mantra, a phrase, I am loving awareness. 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 I'm loving awareness. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness.